in this corner, we have the Sarama Beast. <laughs> she is a bantam, and I think she weighs three ounces soaking wet. Actually, I don't even know how much she weighs, but I know she doesn't even weigh a pound. And in this corner, we have E.T., the extraterrestrial, and I kind of can't tell the difference between her and her sister, E.T., Elizabeth Taylor, so uh, we're just gonna use those interchangeably. <laughs> I think they weigh about six and a half pounds, give or take a little. Who will win? And will you have bantams or standards or both in your flock? Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. I don't know what is going on with this piece of hair. <laughs> it's starting to look like my chickens. <laughs> so there are two size categories for chickens. Bantams, which are like miniature chickens, and standards. Standards can also be called large fowl. I have both bantams and standards in my flock. I have one that is a, a mix with a bantam and a standard. Her name is Peppa. And I got her at the same time I got her little friend Salt. So it's Salt and Peppa. <laughs> and I also have these two funny little tribbles. They're technically bantams, but I call them tribbles and their names are Libby and Connie. Honestly, I have lots of misfits in my flock and I just always like to get special needs chickens or rescue chickens. I think it just kind of reflects who I am because uh, I kind of feel like a misfit too, <laughs> most of the time. So yeah, I have all different kinds of chickens in my flock, all different kinds of sizes, but I know that not everyone can have that. Some people have to choose between bantams and standards. So let's talk about the difference between the two types of chickens so you can make an informed choice about your own flock. I was just talking about how I have a flock of misfits because I feel like a misfit. <laughs> but I do tell people that the kind of chickens that you welcome into your flock actually have more to do with how you are as a person than the chickens themselves. So what are you looking for with your flock? Do you want to just have eggs for your family? Do you want to have lots of eggs for your family? Do you want to sell eggs? Do you want to give eggs away? Or do you just want to have pets? Do you just want enjoyment? Or maybe you just want to have like a flock of rescue chickens. These are all things to take into consideration when you're deciding whether to get bantams or standards. If your priority is to have lots of fresh eggs, then you will likely want to go with standard breeds and you want standard laying breeds. They are usually called production breeds. Standard layers are bred to lay lots of eggs. They are less broody than bantam chickens and broodiness is their desire to sit on and hatch out and raise baby chicks. So standard chickens in general are not gonna have as much of an instinct to do that as bantam chickens. Most farm stores in your area are going to have good layers available during baby chick season and they will likely be good chickens for whatever climate you are in. The traits that most people want in a standard laying hen is that they lay well, they want them to be quiet, and they want them to be really friendly. But I do want to tell you right now that there is no guarantee that any breed of chicken is going to be quiet. There are some breeds that are generally quieter, but any chicken can sing the egg song, and that song is like, Bok, bok, bok. <laughs> so any chicken will do that. Many of them do, many of the quiet breeds do. And when they sing that song, they can sometimes sing it for like 30 minutes. So your neighbors will definitely know you have chickens. So bantams are gonna be smaller than standard sized chickens. They can weigh anywhere from like a few ounces to about three and a half pounds. They can be miniature versions of standard breeds. Like I have a standard size 
Easter Egger, and I have a Bantam Easter Egger. And there's also what's called True Bantams, and these are Bantams that don't have a standard counterpart. I do have some True Bantams in my flock. I have Ceramas, like Beast, and I also have a, a Danver, or Danver, I always pronounce that wrong. And her name is Monchi Chi, and she's currently broody, so she's kind of cranky. <laughs> People ask me all the time if you can eat bantam eggs and you absolutely can. And one of the things that I could not find when I first got chickens is I couldn't find like a side-by-side -side comparison of bantam eggs versus standard eggs. So I brought this for you. And I also wanna show you, this is one of Walter the duck's eggs. <laughs> She's my really big duck. She doesn't fall into a bantam or standard chicken size. She is definitely a standard sized duck. She's huge. Bantam chickens, they're really bred. They're not bred to lay a lot of eggs. They're bred for friendliness, they're bred for beauty, and they're actually bred for broodiness. Broodiness is more of a desirable quality for a bantam chicken. And sometimes you'll see farmers that have like all layers in their flock, except for a few little bantam hens running around. And they're there to raise baby chicks. So they can help to replenish that farmer's flock. And it's a sustainable way to keep chickens and to grow your flock. One thing that is really important for you guys to know, and a lot of people don't know this, is that the bantams that you see at the farm store during baby chick season, they are usually not sexed. And what that means is they are not separated by male and female. So when you go in and you see these cute little fuzzy bantams and you want to get them, you want to get like 10 of them, you need to have a plan for roosters because you will very likely get roosters and you will very likely get more than one. This is my little my little bantam Japanese chicken. Her name is Pop-Tart. She's a little bit cranky right now because she's broody. So she's feeling a little bit hormonal. And I know, I know how that feels, honey. <laughs> I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you keep so many bantams in your flock? And the short answer to that question is that bantams are fun in my flock. The bantams win the showdown, but that doesn't mean I don't love my standard chickens. They serve a very important purpose. I just feel like, you know, the kind of person I am, I like to work. I like to have a lot of fun and I'm kind of a misfit, like I said. <laughs> so what? is that right? Is that right, Pop-Tart? <laughs> So my flock really reflects who I am, but who will win the showdown in your flock? Let me know in the comments. And no matter what kind of chickens you get, I really think that they do the best when they are raised naturally and sustainably and in a stress-free way. So I'm gonna put this playlist right here for your viewing enjoyment. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment, and I know you're gonna love it. I got to go fix this hair. I have to do something about this.